Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherelle and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be telling you more about how I use Kojic Acid to lighten my hyperpigmentation and dark scars. But before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My channel is all about skincare, beauty and natural hair. So if that kind of content interests you, I really appreciate it if you could show support to my channel by subscribing. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. You know how much I appreciate your love and encouragement. Now, let's get on with the video. So, as I said before, in today's video, we'll be talking about Kojic Acid and how I used it to get rid of my dark marks and scars. So, I did a video about how I got rid of my hyperpigmentation and dark marks, and I actually mentioned Kojic Acid in that video, and you guys really wanted to know more, so that's why I decided to make this video. Also, I did a poll quite a while ago asking if you guys have heard of Kojic Acid, and I was quite surprised that not a lot of you guys have actually heard of it before. So comment down below if you have heard of Kojic Acid before or if you've used it before and what are your experiences with it. If you are new to my channel, I have struggled with hyperpigmentation for a very, very long time and it's taken me about a year to find products that I love and products that really do work for my skin. My skin still isn't completely 100% but I will leave a picture of what my skin used to look like before just so that you can kind of compare it to now. So the most amazing thing about Kojic Acid is that it is natural. So it is made from fungus or soybean and it can even be made from rice. And as you already know, it does wonders for hyperpigmentation and dark scars. So there are so many causes of hyperpigmentation. Some of those are acne, melasma, sun damage, and in my case, it was eczema. I use Kojic Acid in three ways. Um, one of those is a soap and the next way that I use it is in a powder and with the powder I use it in my in my everyday moisturizer and the last way is a face mask. This is the actual soap of Kojic Acid that I use and the brand is called Kojisan and of course if you want to try out this product for yourself I will leave it in the description box below and there are so many brands out there of Kojic Acid soap but this was the first one that I tried and the first one that I fell in love with so I haven't really needed to try any other brand and the actual bar soap is an orangey color I don't actually use this soap a lot now but that's because a lot of my dark marks did clear up but back then when my dark marks were at its worst I did use it morning and night one warning that I have to give to you about this product is that it can irritate your skin for the first month that I was using it it was absolutely fine but after that it started to irritate my skin so then I stopped for about two weeks and then continued to use it and my skin was fine again but if it does irritate your skin or you feel any burning or very very uncomfortable I would discontinue using it leave it for a little bit and then try it again later on but please don't force yourself to use it if it doesn't feel good on your skin a little bit of tingling was okay but when it got past that point I just stopped using it stopped using it for about two weeks and then I would continue using it after that now for the second way that I use Kojic Acid is in a powder form and there are two ways that I use that and one of that is in a cream so to mix it in with the cream all I use is a container I purchased this off Amazon and the reason why I got amber class is because kojic acid actually oxidizes very quickly and that means it loses effectiveness very quickly and it will change the color of the product for me it changed it like a brownie sort of orangey color so because it oxidizes very quickly I like to leave it in a dark place hence why I use the amber glass another thing if you're going to mix kojic acid powder with your cream only mix it in an amount that you can use within five days after five to seven days kojic acid starts to oxidize and really loses effectiveness so I wouldn't go ahead and mix a whole big bunch that you're going to use over a month because it just wouldn't be worth it. The everyday cream that I use is E45 and then I mix less than 2% Kojic Acid with that cream. If you're going to use the cream on a larger area like say your arm or your legs I would put a little bit more in there because of course you're using it on a larger surface area and when I used to use that mixture I use it very sporadically like I would use it one day then I wouldn't use it the next but I definitely wouldn't use it every single day especially if you're using 
the soap as well because it can be quite abrasive. Now, the third way that I use Kojic Acid is in a face mask. This is one of my favourite ways to do it. I got the idea to use this face mask from another YouTuber and I will leave their name right here so you can watch that video. But I'll also show you how I made it on my channel as well. To make this mask, I apply apple cider vinegar and I use two tablespoons of that. Then I use two teaspoons of flour and then less than 3% Kojic Acid and I use some vitamin C powder. Now, when it comes to this face mask, I also use it sporadically and all I do is apply it to my face, let it dry for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off. And that's all I have for you guys. If you have any more questions about the Kojic Acid or how I use it, don't forget to comment down below and I will try and answer your questions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Comment down below if you have heard of Kojic Acid before or if you've used it before and what are your experiences with it.